Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday close-up view shave of the day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this shave, we are using my Frederick Herter and Sons. This is the number 49 Ace of Spades. That is bone with inlay, 15 16 blade, and it is a full hollow. Very nice shaver too. Yep. And for our soap tonight, we're going with E Barber. This is Stash Soap Works and it is marvelous. And this is a really nice soap to lather as well. Now, I have had that blooming. So let's pour the bloom water off. Put that on as a pre-shave. Yeah. Oh, nice scent on this one. Really is. Oh, that's good. It is. Yeah. Yeah, buddy, that is good. And for my brush tonight, here we go. We are going with the King brush. Oh, yeah, very nice. This is custom made brush that is hand poured and beautiful. I really, really enjoy the green. I do. And this is a 24 millimeter premium bore knot quite good yes it is now let's go ahead and get that loaded up all right so we made it to the midweek shave hump day oh yeah always good yes it is and hopefully you are in high spirits and feeling well yeah the world's treating you good and you're getting some good shaves yeah that would be great. It would. Yeah. And you know what? The weekend's right around the corner. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for that. Yeah. And it's going to be good. It is. So now, we just about got this loaded up. This stuff, I mean, great lathering soap. It really is. So, now. And hopefully work is good if you work. If you don't work, that's even better, though. Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna say we're just about there with this. Let's just give it a little bit more. Yeah, I like it, I like it. All right, I think we're there. All right. And there we go. Got hair. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and get around the inside of that bowl as well as the outside and we're going to put most of that on the brush and the rest we're just going to work in yeah this is my pre-shave routine now i did just get out of the shower as well which means those whiskers are hydrated yep now here we go. Look at that. I'm, I'm sure I overdid it, but that's fine. That's the way I like it. Yes, it is. Now, you're going to get this on. Yeah. So now, here recently in the comments, somebody asked if my other razors were feeling neglected and just really wanted out. But it's perfectly fine. Yes, it is. Because I'm keeping them in a dark, cool place so they are unaware of what we're doing here in the shade den. And they're not missing out on a thing. Yeah, because they, they don't know what's going on. Yeah. So that is what I'm doing with my other razors. And this one is doing fine. This is, by the way, shave... 16 shave 16 out of 30 the 30 straight razor shave challenge using only one straight razor and it's not too late to start so if you want to start just let us know down in the comments i know we have a new person that wants to start and i say go for it i do yeah it, it's good and we will support you help you encourage you and i'm telling you the 
Adventures in Wet Shaving Family will take care of you. All right? Now, let's get this going. There we go. Oh, look at that lather. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely. Yeah. Check that out. Wow. That is so good. Yes, it is. Now, this is pass one. And for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. Let's do this. Reaching around with my off hand, lazing that razor flat, and then raising the spine width off of my face to get that proper shaving angle. Continually stretching here, working on my stretching to be able to get a better shave without stretching too much. All right, looking good. Ah, hit a bump right there. Yeah, it happens. No big deal, though. It's all fine. Just a little one. Now, find that. Put some soap on that at the same time, just like that. And I'm gonna just keep going. Yep. Coming in very shallow angle here, working around that speed bump. There we go. Now. Get just a little more soap on there. Get that razor cleaned off so we can see what we're doing. We're gonna work on that chin now. Coming in nice and flat on that chin. Working that razor around. Trying to keep it as flat as possible. Here stretching just by smiling. Yeah, easy does it. That's the way this is done. Nice, easy, light touch. No weight on the razor. Don't try to force it or push it. Nice. That is so good. It is. Yeah, so if you're wanting to start the 30 straight razor shave challenge using only one straight razor, go ahead. It's perfectly fine. There's more than enough time. No big deal. All right. And this doesn't necessarily have to be 30 days. This could be just 30 shaves. It's just 30 shaves in a row. Doesn't matter if it's every day or every other day or whenever you normally shave. All right. So... Either way, it's all good. Coming in straight here, rotating that blade down, looking for that proper shaving angle. Razor's nice and flat here. Yeah, either way, all good. And no matter what, you will be better with the straight razor after you're done with 30 shaves. Yep. Now, let's go ahead and find these bumps. Don't want to hit the big ones, at least. All right. Reaching around, grabbing my head, stretching. This is totally with the grain for me. And every time you move to a different part of your face, you need to reestablish that shaving angle as well. Here, I'm still stretching, trying to pull that cheek up. And I'm blowing out my cheek and stretching that way. There we go. Nice. That is so good. Yeah, stretching is key. It really is. 
nice shallow angle here weight of the blade only stretching with my off hand There we go. Nice. Very good. Coming in straight here, rotating that blade down. Very gently laying that blade on my skin. There you go. Pass one complete. Now, we are going to Go ahead, rinse off, see how we're doing. I think it is fine. Yes, it is. That is good. It is. Nice. Get that dried off. Now, let's go ahead and get our lather on. Look at that. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, this has great cushion, nice and slick, and really quite good at making a lather with this. It is quite amazing. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, buddy, good stuff, it really is. Now, this is pass two, and for me, primarily, that's gonna be against the grain. You could click on this card to see straight razor shaving maps, grip of the straight razor, and the order of the shave. May be very helpful. All right, you'll be able to find out what's with the grain, against the grain, across the grain, and that will help you with your shave. All right, let's do this. Coming in here at a very shallow angle. Stretching with my off hand. Keep in mind, you really need to learn how to make a good lather. There we go. Nice. Yep. Coming in here, this is completely flat on my skin. Rotating that blade around that chin, trying to keep it as flat as possible. And when you're loading your brush, load it nice and heavy. That way uh, you'll make sure and have enough soap for the shave. Yeah, nice. Oh, that is so good. Yep. Yeah. Now, we're going to switch hands, get this other side. Coming in nice and flat here. Gingerly working around that speed bump. Stretching with my off hand. Yep. 
Nice, very good. Rotated that blade to be able to hold the razor at a better angle. Nice gentle touch there. Rotated the blade again for this angle. Let me encourage you to try new things, new angles, see what works the best for you when you're shaving. Nice. All right, got a couple of bumps. Yeah, you know what happens. No big deal though. There's that one. Let's get this other one. I am probably rushing too much. Yep. So, the key is slow down. Yes, it is. That will help out a lot. Don't get in a hurry. Yep. But again, not going to be a big deal. Just a couple of little bumps there. No big thing. Stretching here with my off hand. Let me encourage you to try to find a good time to shave when you're not in a hurry and you don't have to rush. Yeah, just take your time, enjoy it. So if that is in the morning, that's fine. There we go. If you find like I do that shaving in the evening works better because I have more time, possibly you will have more time as well. Just check it out. Nice, nice, that is good. Yes, it is. All right. Coming in here nice and flat on that mustache area and around the mouth. Now on that lower part below the mouth, that blade is almost nearly flat, which seems to work the best for me. There we go. Nice. We are getting there. Yeah, we are. Stretching with my off hand, the razor again, nice and flat in this area. All right, pass two complete and it felt good. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, all right. Now, get that off. Oh, cheeks are good right where they are. Yeah, very nice. Now, get that dried on. Get our lather on. Hmm, <laughs> quite good, quite good. Now, go ahead, get that right there, and get the hands clean, dried off, and time for the half pass. Yes, it is. So this is basically going to be my jawline and my neck 
and it's against the grain. This is the best way I've found to do it. Let's do this. Let's find that first. There we go. Reaching around, grabbing that ear to stretch my jawline and my neck. Short, easy strokes here. Very controllable. Reaching down, grabbing my jaw now to stretch further down my neck and my jawline. And what makes this work is that corner right there has been muted, which really helps a lot. Now, let's get up here. Looking for a nice sharp razor to be able to cut those whiskers. You would have to be really crazy, crazy good to work with that. And it'd really be dangerous. So I always mute the tip on these and it works great. Reaching around, grabbing that ear, stretching. A nice shallow angle here. Again, short, easy strokes. Stretching with that off hand. There we go. Nice. Coming in nice and flat here. Right there is against the grain. Then that bat is across the grain. All right. Getting better with that stretching. Yes, I am. And for us older gentlemen, it is important. Yes, it is. Holding that razor nice and flat. There we go. Nice. Very good. Now, let's see how we did. I think it's good, though. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, nice. Very nice. All right, now we're going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic and really good if you hit a little bump or two here or there, seal it right off. And it is excellent after shaving. Yep. Yep, just put that everywhere and you're good to go. Now I just pat that dry. Just like that. Now if you can't take alum straight up, you could always do a water rinse followed by witch hazel. And in my case, we're going Thayer's. And this is the lavender witch hazel, which I think will go nicely with the soap. Yeah, so we're going to get that on. Oh, and a nice scent. Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, I do put that everywhere. I don't think you can go wrong with that at all. Now, for my aftershave cologne thing. Here we go. We're going Clubman, and this is the musk. It is so good, and it's going to, again, go with that soap nicely. Yes, it is. Oh, and that's good. That is really good. Oh, nice. Mm, fantastic scent. Now, we're going to top this shave off with Nivea Cooling Post Shave Balm. It is excellent. Yes, it is. Now we're going to get some of that out. There we go. Nice. Oh, 
All right, that is good. Now, I do also put that everywhere, and I do Street Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. You could click on this card to see Street Razor Shaving, the shave of the day, all the off-camera bits. If you ever wanted to know what I do before the shave, after the shave, even during the shave, I show you the off-camera bits really good. Now, I get my ideas for these Street Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, leave me questions, comments, suggestions, maybe even ideas for upcoming Street Razor Edge Friday special, and we will get that going for you. Now, if you've been around for a while and you like what you see, or you're new and you like it, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by for that. And down in the description, I've got a ton of links for street razor shaving and honing videos and playlists, especially for you. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video especially picked out for you. Click up here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.